Hey, Murph Lime here, and welcome back to another video. So we're actually on to more challenges of the lowdown. Now, if you guys take a look, I'm actually on to search the am ammo boxes in different name locations and then heal teammates with the Band-Aids Bazooka. Um, probably the best bet's gonna go into Team Rumble, just because of the fact that you can go ahead and heal right near the end. It will actually take a little bit to go ahead and complete that, um, but it won't be that bad. Like I said, once you guys get down to the final nitty gritty um, spot of a match, What's going to happen is, is you'll be able to heal tons of your teammates. Basically, just grab that gun and, you know, blast it all over the place. You should be able to find it for sure, probably in a supply drop. Um, or possibly to come across a certain chest or whatever in the game. It's not going to be that hard, obviously. I mean, almost every single t match you have, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people don't want it. But because the fact that, you know, it's going to be a chosen weapon this time, it will be a little bit harder to find. Now, if you notice the fact that it does say seven different uh, name locations. So, in other words... You're going to have to go to Slippy Swap, um, Holly Hedges, Sweaty Sands, Pleasant Park, Peggy Cliffs, um, all those different things. So if you guys take a look at the fact that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you have about 11 different places here. And so what you're going to have to do is probably, I would recommend trying to jump out as soon as possible. Just so you guys can actually get um, as much as you can. Because basically try and get the locations that are close together. And because everybody's going to be going after this, you're going to have a harder time too. But like I said, if you actually um, go to the places that are close together, as soon as you get in one spot, actually open up your ammo box, hurry up, get over to another location in another place. And maybe if you're lucky enough, you'll actually have something there to still grab. But I'm just going to go ahead here. Um, there's a chest. We'll open it up. The other thing is too, if you guys are just trying to go ahead and get your actual challenges done, and I would recommend just backing out basically as soon as you can. So I'm going to go here. There's the second one there for me. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually try to go to Lazy Lake. See if I can make it work. See if it's actually possible to find a second one over there. So this is why in a sense they've made these challenges a little bit harder. Is because of the fact that you have so much stuff you have to do. Um, you know, like I said, you can't necessarily get all of these in one match okay the next spot i don't know if we can get to misty meadows we probably could now the next thing will be will anybody have already taken those now we're on our way to misty meadows so as long as not a lot of people have been here then we should be able to find a chest or not a chest but a ammunition box somewhere we still have some Halloween stuff kicking around here and there. You can hear chests, so obviously um, not everything has been picked through yet. So here's another spot there. Okay, so there we go. We managed to get 4 out of 7 so far. Now, I don't think I can actually make it to another location before the um, storm circle closes in. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and play this match for you guys. And I'll actually show the bazooka. As you can see, the range is actually quite far on that. And we will have to wait, basically. So 103 out of 200 so far. And we have to wait for that to replenish. There we go. Pulled their health up a little bit still. Okay, so as you can see there, there's the roundup. We actually have four out of seven. We healed teammates with the bandage bazooka. We did 162 out of 200. It wasn't as easy as what I thought it was going to be. Um, just because of the fact that there weren't too many people on my team that were actually... Now, gee, how about that goal of 100? And we actually managed... It was 101 versus 96. So who knows? But anyways, that's basically how you guys can use that. 
like I said, if you're actually in your um, Team Rumble, then that'll be the best way. You can just keep reviving. Or I guess you could actually do it the other way too. If you're actually on uh, with a teammate, happen to have them fall off, just revive them back again up to their 100 after the, them uh, falling off a thing or whatever. So um, anyways, hope this has been helpful for you guys. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.